Where the campaign stands right now. That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points Memo. ABC News poll, good news for Donald Trump. Has him just four points behind Hillary Clinton. NBC News poll, not so good news. He's down by 11 in that one. And CBS News poll, Trump down by nine. Talking Points believes the Fox News poll, which has Trump down by seven, is most likely the most accurate. But with three weeks remaining, the question is, can that gap be closed? There are a few things that Donald Trump must do. First, put aside the feuding. Get some nowhere with voters to take on people like Paul Ryan. Second, while he must defend himself against charges he believes are scurrilous, he should quickly dispatch those charges and hone in on three major themes. They are stagnant economy, illegal immigration, chaos overseas. Also, with the WikiLeaks stuff, Mr. Trump has plenty of ammo for Wednesday night's debate. As for Hillary Clinton, she's off the campaign trail this week, resting up for the debate in Las Vegas. That's smart. She's ahead. But she can't sit on her lead if the debate is won by Donald Trump. If the secretary dominates on Wednesday night, she's in. But if Trump hammers her, Mrs. Clinton will have to compete. Her best strategy in Vegas is to mostly ignore Trump and talk directly to the voters, trying to convince them she's not corrupt. Now, the big picture. It all pretty much comes down to four states, Florida, Ohio, North Carolina, Pennsylvania. Trump needs to take three out of those four and win the West, that is Nevada, Colorado, and the rest of the red states out there. It's no question that Hillary Clinton is better positioned right now. But again, things change fast in this terrible campaign. I say terrible because it's just one personal attack after another on both sides. And that has weakened both Trump and Hillary Clinton. I think the question becomes for her and for voters, is she going to be able to govern? You talk to lots of people who are her supporters, and they say, you know, she may be elected, but will be a weak president. And part of this is she's got to kind of face, and this isn't just about Trump, it's about her. Now, the polls show many Americans, perhaps most, are voting against rather than for one of the candidates. First time in my life that has happened. And that's a